Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. Today we're playing this game called Rifle Strike. It's free to play on Steam. It came out today, March 19th of 2021. Um, I kind of... I was playing this this game a little bit. I made a video on it, and then, um, I mean, it was it was garbage. Um, the, the part that I played, and then I was like, man, I gotta give this another shot, because no one would release something this unfinished on Steam. Well, I wouldn't say no one. I played them. <laughs> I played ones that have very little development, but... Um, so I went back, and I wanted to give this game a second shot, which is what I usually do when I'm really surprised by something. So, um, this is the main menu, and this video is just gonna be about what you can expect on startup. So let's go, um... So firstly, multiplayer in games like this, like just not, I wouldn't even focus on it if I were the developer, because it's an indie game. The player base is really small. If you have multiplayer, um, it, it's, I don't know. It, I think like the, the return on investment of time is gonna be very little versus uh, single player stuff. So let's check that out, single player. So this is what I tried before, begin. We're just gonna go into this, cause I, okay, so you come in here, right? The Everything's very basic. Level design, very basic. These the buildings, they're just like elongated cubes with uh, tech, the one texture plastered on all four sides. And the buildings are like the same size as the, the texture, right? Like repeated three times wide. Maybe one time wide. You can see right there, there's a thing in, in the window. Anyway, we don't have a gun. There's no gun. I'm pressing one, two, three, four. Um, let's check out... Oh, no, there's no menu. You cannot access the menu from the game. Um, I don't know why, but this is really common for small developers. It, you should be able to press escape. Press escape, you bring up a menu. Pretty standardized controls there. Or, you know, that's the bar. That's the, the standard um, in, in most games. Um, the controls, WASD, and mouse to look around. Um, here's a table, right? So as we approach the table, this little thing comes up, and our, and our character just doesn't stop moving forward basically control is lost by the player this seems like a bug doesn't work we don't have a weapon but um let's go okay so like just like that i'm not controlling the character anymore now for some reason we're sprinting i'm trying to actually access the table not just show that repeatedly but so we click on stuff you can see in the bottom right okay larger larger mag capacity cool it goes i i checked it it goes up over a thousand um increased damage helicopter okay like n none of these buttons do anything we don't have a gun um as far as i could tell there are no guns in here and so he, these are the zombies let's just see if we can crouches well crouches control and that's that's what crouch looks like pretty jerky <laughs> spazzing out a little bit let's look at the zombies if we can okay so it, they're, they're like they're hospital patients, right? Oh, cool. Oh, good. You can see in the bottom left is our health, and then we die. We respawn right in the middle. Let me tell you though, do not attract all the zombies. Let's actually no, we're gonna do it. No, no, do it. Do attract all the zombies to the middle of the map. Our money increased. I don't know why. the top right is what i'm talking about now we're at um oops a doodle now we're at um over a hundred thousand looks like you die and then you get money and then let's try to run through here see if we can get by and just want to kite all these zombies and see what it looks like they're all, they're all the same model even in a hospital like i understand they might look really similar because they're wearing um a gown or the uh i don't know whatever that thing is they give you in a hospital right like that you wear that your butt shows because it doesn't fasten in the back. But um, e even though everyone's wearing that and they look similar, they people have different body types and different skin colors and hair colors. So this is what it looks like. Um, you just die over and over. And this is what I was talking about. So you bring them to the middle of the map and then you die instantly. And then you respawn, die, it's a death loop. And then there's no way to exit the game from here. And so uh, I have to control, alt, delete. Please hold. Okay, we're back. Pretty quick startup, so it's not like... Uh, I want to say it's not that big of a deal, but it is, right? Like, we should have a menu available to us, and there's no there's no settings thing here to, like, uh, for me to look at controls. So um, there might be a menu button on the keyboard, 
industry standard is uh, the escape button and if that's not the case um, I, I want to you know play an FPS not a guessing game about how to bring up the menu um, so let's go into single player and I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to be rude I'm not trying to get views because you know like I'm making fun of a video game I think that's very um, dishonorable so like, I'm, I'm just being real here I am talking to the developer mostly um, so note the missions need a lot of improvements and fixes also there's just a few of them um, I wouldn't put that in here. I would just put your game into early access. Like, I wouldn't include a note like this. I would just put your game on early access, and people know what to expect when they play an early access game. Yeah, I had to bring it up the, the Steam store page and verify it is an early access. But, um... Begin. Okay, and so this is something I kind of had trouble with at the beginning. It's not intuitive. So you come in here. It brings you... This is like the single, the single player story mode, right? So press A and D to move. Press enter to confirm. Okay, fair enough. So you press A to come over here. Coming soon. Okay. Sneak up. This, so this is a mission. It's um, not... This is unorthodox um, level selection, which is fine, but I'm just explaining it. So this is the, like, the, the, the mission selection options. So you come over here. This one's not there. I'm pressing A, by the way, and the camera moves like that. You just press it once, and it takes you over there. Um, you can see the level design just in general... It's really basic. All the textures, three modeling, like there's a tank on the right side of the screen. Um, really, I think, unproportional size. Um, the plane is the best looking thing on here, I think. But um, so sneak up. This is the mission, I guess. That's the name of the mission. You just got to one of the group's hideout shelters. Your mission is to sneak your way in. I don't want to sneak right now. <laughs> I want to I wanna shoot some people. So uh, let's go straight into the action. You fly in a helicopter to your first mission where you shall clear out a terrorist group, which just committed a terrorist attack here. They're the... The eyebrow terrorists. They have, like, a massive eyebrows, and they all look the same. Okay. Let's do this one. I press enter, and this is what happens. Get the files! John Steve. The man with two first names. Special agent. There's no floor in the helicopter. Um, it's missing, like, the entire other side of the fuselage. Not sure what happened there. Um, I'm, I'm okay, not... mate, you're here. Now grab those files, and you can go home. Okay, and I'm, I'm not making fun of the game. I understand it takes a lot of effort and time to learn skill sets to develop games, and then on top of that, to actually develop the game, right? So I understand that. I'm not making fun of your efforts. I am making light and... Uh, Making light of things that I can and bringing humor to the game or to the video if I can. Okay, so here's a weapon. What do we do? Press E. Which is good. That's that's what I would expect. Okay. Um, pretty... I think rudimentary uh, modeling here. The hands. Looks like he's got a broken wrist on his right hand. Um, but anyway, in the iron sights, uh, kind of strange so I just fired a shot team two he's green does that mean elimination okay well so the man with giant eyebrows the man with giant eyebrows do not see us okay so we just respawn oh <laughs> wow! It's like a clown car unloaded a bunch of dudes with giant eyebrows. Okay. Well, I see. Oh, and this is the edge of the world right here. This pointing because I'm being chased by a dudes. Well, it's like 40 guys. I don't know. You can take a lot of shots, which is good. I'm looking for a weapon right now. So we got... What did we get there? I don't I don't even know what we're picking up because I don't have time to stop. I 
to turn down that siren because that is loud. Oh, the guy saw us. Get to the chopper. Where is it? This guy didn't get the memo. Look. If... Okay. If they stop looking at you, they just kind of stand still and get lost. Bro, stop it. Oh, okay. That works. Oh my god, that siren. Huh. Well... Yeah, you know, I... And I, I can't... I can't press escape or anything. Okay, so... They, they're... Oh, man, I... I try to be nice, you know, like, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice here. There's a lot that needs to be done in this in this game. Um, I wouldn't recommend it in its current state. I think it needs a lot more, a lot more. Uh, bigger levels, variation in textures, um, variation in enemies, better AI. You can see that they, they look at, they're just clumped up there. Something, something needs to change with that. Um, basically, as soon as you run out of the line of sight of the enemies, they just stop. And, um, you know, for the most part, you can see a few of them are kind of wandering around, you know, like in a 10-foot radius. But, like, that guy's looking right at us, and he can't see us. Um, gosh, the, the siren is, uh, is it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to handle. I guess we'll go over there where the where the, the dust is being kicked up. I'm guessing that's from, like, what are the, da the downdraft, whatever it is, when a rotor, helicopter rotor, kicks up a bunch of dust. Hopefully we can make it. I don't see a helicopter anywhere. I'm taking a lot of shots. Nope, it's the edge of the world. Um, so as far as design goes, like why why is this the edge of the world? It shouldn't be an invisible barrier in front of a place that looks like where we can go. It should be like that. There's a physical object here blocking us, where it's obvious that we can't go there instead of like running around, um, like I'm doing. Then I okay. Hang on a second here. Let me get away from these guys. Okay, so I've never seen a city that looks like this. Usually, cities like they're uh, they're built kind of like around like you know the idea of a grid. So all the the streets like they run parallel and perpendicular to each other. Buildings are um you know like they're they're constructed at you know usually at right angles to each other or like some kind of rhyme or reason in this map design um everything's just kind of placed wherever and it looks it reminds me of like paintball courses where things are put there for for a see in this map it's obvious that the map was made for an fps game versus uh, a realistic map would be where it's a city that's built to be a city, and then we just happen to be there playing the game, if that makes sense. Also, this thing where, like, where we die over and over right here, and then we just spawn in the same spot, and all the enemies are just still shooting at us. Not, not great. Um, I do kind of like this, like, atmospheric effect we have going on with, like, this orange kind of haze, but... Why is it there? Is it like a giant dust storm? So, yeah, you know, like, I'm going to call this one here because um, no one's going to watch this point, <laughs> except for the developer anyway. But um, this game is called Rifle Strike. I, I think you need a lot more. Um, a lo you need a lot more. There, there needs to be a lot more going on here. There's a roof that's kind of floating. Oh, no, that's a, that's a tarp. It's a rigid tarp that's... So we're supposed to escape. Oh, okay. I see. So let's... Is he shoot... The helicopter's shooting at us? I thought the helicopter was supposed to be a good guy. Where do we escape to? You know, like, there's just so many questions and so many things that... That need to be improved. Um, you, you might... I don't know. But I'm going to call this one here. Thanks for watching. This game's called Rifle Strike. Free to play on Steam. Came out March 19th of 2021. Thank you for watching Atlas Gaming. I hope somebody found some value in this video. We'll see you in the next one.